We at Concordia Publishing House are always so pleased when the president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod uh, takes an interest in one of our products to the point where he feels as though he needs to say a few words about it. In this next clip, you will see President Matthew Harrison talk about one of our latest resources called The Calling, Live a Life of Significance by our wonderful author, Dr. Kurt Sensky. So please enjoy it. Kurt told me he was working on this and uh, he's never completely transparent on these projects at the beginning. I just all of a sudden uh, find out that he's been secluded somewhere, uh, usually at a comfortable place uh, with his computer and uh, some amenities nearby. But I was delighted to find out that he was working on this book and then when I began to peruse it and see that he really has been trying to plumb the depths of what it means to be a Lutheran Christian and others can read this book with great profit. I mean, it's, it's Lutheranism's great, I think, gift to the broader ecumenical world, um, this Lutheran doctrine of vocation. It's very freeing. But uh, Kurt has really gotten in touch with solid Lutheran teaching on this one, I think, in the way that Ed Veith has done in the past and, and Wingren uh, looking at vocation and several others. Basically, the self-help market is more or less helpful. There, there's a discipline, uh, and Lutherans believe in a legitimate first article creation discipline of psychology and sociology and those kind of things. And so there's a lot of wisdom out there, um, not all of it good, but there's a lot of reasonable stuff that you can read and find some help for in life. But what Dr. Sensi does in his book is he starts right at the heart of it. He starts with the same time saint and sinner. Christ is the help we need. Our baptism is our fundamental uh, anchor in life. And grounded there, the Lord carries us through a life of relationships and callings right where he's put us and placed us. God works his vocational desires for us in the place where we actually are. And I think this is something Kurt Sensky, my dear friend, has worked on for the last decade of his life trying to understand. And he's written other books which have been quite helpful for me. The one on executive uh, leadership, which is an excellent book on that topic. But he's really delved into uh, the scriptures in this book and also Lutheran theology. And Kurt helps show, as I resonated to from my own experience, when I was a young man, it was specifically the people in my family, the people I was connected to in my community, the people in my home congregation, a vicar who was very much influential in my life, a brother-in-law who was a pastor at my congregation, all of them had a tremendous influence on me within the context of my own vocations there and their vocations that really um, led me to want to go to the seminary. No, I, I could ne never have pictured myself here. In fact, I can't, I can't even picture myself here now, today. So, um, you know, the Lord simply uses us as he sees fit at each moment of life. And I think for me, that's, and you get a sense of this from Kurt's book too. There's a, there's a man plans his ways, but the Lord determines the outcome. Kurt references those passages in the Proverbs. And it's the Lord who sets before us this life. And it's a beautiful complexity. We have freedom to make choices. We have we're free to pursue uh, things that we love or enjoy and people around us help us change course from time to time. That's the way it's supposed to work, but all of life uh, is part of a divine unfolding of blessings. Kurt touches on this uh, very directly. Success isn't how big a car you drive or how large your pile is at the end of life. You know, finally those things pass. I think success is 
living a life of significance where God has put you. I think a successful life is to know I'm forgiven and that in the cross my vocations have meaning and I'm put here to have a relationship to serve those who are right under my nose. And I notice it over the years visiting um, developing nations, for instance, where people have next to nothing, and then coming back here, and we are drowning, I mean literally drowning in stuff. We are uh, attached to material possessions. We are, and at the same time that we are drowning in this wealth, even if we have to borrow for it, which is its own problem, we're just drown we, we are drowning in abundance. And the devil's trick is to make us think, we don't have enough money. We don't have enough stuff. We don't have enough attention. We don't have enough of this or that. And that is the devil's trick. And it's only coming face to face with uh, the basics of the faith, same time saint and sinner. There's only uh, one, there's only one knife that can cut that Gordian knot, and that is uh, law and gospel.